Hello to everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will try to show you how to effectively use block themes and common problems which usually users have when they try new site editor in WordPress. First thing which you usually start editing in site editor is templates. Here you should know that there are two type of block themes. Themes which use front page template and home template. And workflow is different. So let's try with first scenario when theme has front page template. For example, it's green shift theme. To edit home page in such themes, you need to edit front page template. So, everything which you see in this template will be on home page of your site. Each template has template parts and custom blocks. Template parts are highlighted with violet color. Template part is used across whole site. So, if you edit here header template part, it will be updated in all templates which use this template part. Now, let's change content of our home page. For this I remove content area, but you can leave it and edit with your content. For example, you can import some ready sections and continue to edit them or add own design and blocks. Let me show some examples. First is how to add template from GreenShift template library. Just click to import them and they will be added into your template. Another source of ready sections can be found in pattern library. Most of themes and plugins register own patterns here. Let me add pattern from GreenShift query library. When you added section from library, you can edit it to fit better to template. Each block has own set of different options. For example, for this section, I want to increase top padding. Take a note that there are many plugins for Gutenberg and their blocks have different interfaces and functionality. Now, let's add own design. For this purpose, I always recommend to wrap your content in row or in core group block. Both will allow you to center content and in the same time, you can use full width elements. In this video, we will not overview blocks and their functionality but there is one thing which you should know. It's inheritance and relations between child and parent blocks. In our example, we use row block which is container of inner items and blocks. There are options in parent block and all child blocks will inherit them. But also you can set options in each child block. When you click on any block in editor, you will see options of block in inspector in right sidebar. Also, additional quick options are available in toolbar. If you have many blocks and complex structure, it's more practical to use navigator to select proper item. There are also other tools which allow to customize editor. For example, you can enable top toolbar or distraction free mode. Also you can view list of keyboard shortcuts to improve productivity and speed. But my favorite shortcut which I use on any site is simple slashing content. When you add it, you can type name of block and it will be searched among other blocks. This, of course, is much more faster than when you try to find block in inserter. If you are happy with your front page, click to save it. If you want to clean all your customizations and revert to default template, click on three dots icon in name of your template. You can also always return back to site editor selector if you click on logo of your site in left top corner. Let me show you workflow for themes which don't have front page template. Instead of this, they use home page template. To show you such example, I activate default 2023 theme. Now, I need to create new page and publish it.
Then, go to Settings Readings and set this new page as your static homepage. If you return back to Site Editor, you will see that we have our static page as content for our homepage. Now, let's return to Reading Settings and set to Show Latest Posts. We see in Site Editor that we have another template for your front page which is called Home. You can also edit it as other templates. From my point of view, themes which use home page workflow is good for blogs, for all other purposes, better to use block themes with front page template. Let's return to our templates and talk about template parts. Template part is area which is synchronized across all your templates which use template part. For example, here, my header template part is used for all templates. Now, if I edit any content inside template part, it will be updated also in all templates with this part. Let me replace text logo to site logo now. Now, as my logo is black colored, I need to change background of header. I can do this in group block or block which you have as parent item for your header elements. I need to change also colors for navigation. Now, when I save changes, WordPress will detect automatically where you add changes. In my scenario, I changed only header template part and site logo. Let's see if it's working on site. Yes, it's working on all pages of site because they use templates with header template part. Header and footer area have also one useful feature. You can easily replace them with ready patterns for this part. But be careful, if you replace template part in template, only current template will have another part. So, if you want to replace it globally, you need to do this in all templates. What if you want to have unique header area which is used only on current template or page? For this, template parts have option to detach blocks from template part. If you do this, this area will be converted to simple blocks which are not synchronized with other parts of site. There is also important thing in site logo. If you want to use your logo as favicon for your site, enable special option in site logo. You can also create own template parts from any block or group of blocks on your site. For this, select your blocks and convert them to template part or pattern. Template part and synchronized pattern is almost the same thing. Difference is that template part is usually used in templates. 
and patterns usually used in content. WordPress 6.3 version has new names and workflow for template parts. Now, you can find them in new section which is called Patterns in Site Editor. Here you can find three types of elements. First is Synced Patterns, which was called Reusable Templates Early. Think about Synced Patterns as template part which you use inside content. You can edit Synced Patterns and they will be updated on whole site where you use this pattern. There are also not synced patterns. These are patterns which registered in theme or plugins. They can be used to add some ready sections to your site. They are not synced across the site. It's like extended clipboard from your blocks which you can reuse in your content. There are also template parts. As I told early, difference from synced patterns is minimal. Template parts are made to be used in templates and synced patterns are used in content. When you are done with home page and template parts, you can set global styles. They have separate tab in site editor. It's better to test styles with stylebook. You can enable it by clicking on eye icon. You can select predefined styles from theme which include typography and color schemas or you can build own style. When you need to edit styles, click on pencil icon and you will get special interface. Let's start with colors. Click on palette section and you will see all colors which are registered in theme. If you want to edit them, click on three dots icon. Now, change colors which you need. I recommend to play only with primary, secondary, button colors and leave other colors as default. You can also assign colors to system elements. For example, you can set default colors for text, background, links, buttons. Please, be very careful with changing base and contrast colors. They must be always opposite. Black and white or white and black. Next global setting is layout. In this setting you can overwrite default width for content section and wide align option. Let me show you this. Here is your post. It's center aligned and use option for content width. Let me add another block and set it as wide width. It will use option for wide layout. You can also set your blocks to be full width. The last option is typography. Here you can attach and change size of content text, headings, and buttons. Each theme has own number of fonts which you can use in selector. If you want to have the same font for all elements, choose system font or default font everywhere. Usually, block themes have pre-selected fonts. But if you use GreenShift theme and GreenShift plugin, you can upload custom font in settings. Now, when you are in Site Editor, click on Theme Option icon and attach your new custom font to one of font family slots which you can use later in Typography Options. Don't forget to save changes to database. You can also find some additional features in this section. If you want to know more about GreenShift theme and its functions, please visit Site of Theme for details. Also I want to tell about new feature of WordPress, Command Palette. Currently, it's working in Site Editor and allows you to navigate between different parts of Site Editor without searching sections in Navigator.
Just type name what you want to change and select results. And the last thing which I want to explain is how to create custom templates for anything. And this is really easy. Just click on plus icon in templates and select which template you want to create. For example, I want to have different template for specific post. You can start with default template or skip it to start with blank template. For example, I want to have small featured image in this post. So, I need to edit height of featured image block. Now, hit to save. Here you see that we update post template and template part. But we want to detach template part, otherwise, our change will affect all templates. So, I select template part and detach it. Also, I uncheck saving our template part. When you save new template, you can find it in template list. In case if you want to remove it, click special button to show all templates, then remove it from list. You can also select template when you edit page or post. There are some pre-installed templates in theme. For example, very useful will be to use page without title template. Let's summarize steps which you will do once you install block theme. First of all, visit site editor and template section. Select front page template or home template and add own content or some patterns. Next, add site logo block to header and upload your logo. Select to use this logo as your site icon. Then, make your own menu. I added link in description of video where you can find our in-depth tutorial about menu. Next will be to edit your footer template part. If you want to change other templates, do this. Or enable style editor and style book and change your global colors and typography. Once you have done all of these, you can add your posts, pages, or other post type content. Also, I recommend you to change your site title and description in general settings. And usually, I change permalinks and set them as post name. You can investigate other settings in WordPress, for example, comment section. Also, it's better to install one of SEO plugins. But for today, this is what I usually do on sites with block themes. God bless you and your sites and see you in next videos.